Hello, ladies and gentlemen, angels, devils, and hunters. Welcome back to AOCG playing DMC Devil May Cry. The totally not controversial entry in the series whatsoever. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, if you say so. <laughs> Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. I am the postman. And I am the cube. I am from my outrageous French accent. And I will be doing oh. this for the entirety of the episode. <laughs> oh my. Oh. Uh, yes, as you've heard, our Scotsman has gone French for the episode, and yes, QB is also here. And as am I, yeah. the one with the controller, I am the Crunchman. <laughs> we will do outrageous accents. <laughs> So that time on our adventures, we learned about the Dante and uh, all of his nonsense. And no, I'm not going to do this the whole time. That's fucking cringe. <laughs> the problem I have is that I can't about? keep a consistent accent. My accents, whenever I'm doing them, go completely all over the rails. I think the only one I can consistently do is the stereotypical Indian accent, and I'm not doing that. Yeah, let's not. Let's let's move on. <laughs> but yeah, last time we met Dante, we met Cat, we got. Attacked by a dude with a claw gun. There was a bit where he had a wig on. Yeah, he had a wig on, and it makes fanboys mad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just gonna sit in here drinking the tears. Mm. Yeah, let me just do some quick upgrades. Basically, I'm just gonna go for some damage upgrades. So, our basic combo hacker now does more damage, and I'm gonna grab. This little move, okay. which is actually a uh, staple for the franchise, but it has a new name here for some reason. Trillion Stabs. Uh, I'm also guessing when it says pause in the middle of a button combo, I'm guessing you just have to wait a few seconds. Yeah, basically it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a pause combo, so it's like you do the first couple of inputs, stop for enough time that, and then continue it and then uh, changes it up. Oh. You know, like the good old fighting game that. style stuff. Now, the reason I can keep up this extremely afraid of French accent is because I usually do it when I am very, 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 very brave. He's not wrong. Also, I like how that loading screen shows up some of the cool combo and uh, tricks he can do. Jumping off of enemies and shooting them, and all this other fun stuff. Ooh, that's a nice car. It is actually. Interesting uh, spray art Welcome on the wall the there. Order. Not what I was expecting. That's the idea. Welcome to our the garage. Are amongst us, Dante. They are enslaving mankind. The They're among us. Brainwashed and helpless. I need this uh... Oh gosh. <laughs> I wouldn't do that so I'm We're a small that. handful of freedom fighters. We are the last and only line of defense. Defense? You got no chance. We don't leave things to chance. We've accumulated vast intelligence on the demons and their collaborators. World leaders, bankers, pop stars. We can hit them where it hurts. It's a rather interesting idea, to say the least. It's just, hmm. Oh, hey, here's our mask, dude. And who is this smug-looking prick? Dante, it really is you. You don't remember me. No. <laughs> Gee, what gave it away? The fact that he stared at you blankly? Uh, not much. I had meningitis when I was seven. Why my memory? Why? I love amnesia. They told me I had a car accident that resulted in total amnesia. Age? Seven. Your point? Well, meningitis is a human affliction. You are not human, Dante. All war is fought with deception, and you have been deceived. Your past has been hidden from you for a reason. Rewind a bit. Who are you again? Yeah, let's start with who My the name fuck is Virgil. are you? 
<laughs> I established the order to help find a way to fight the demons. Hey, Virgil. Side swords and bullets, you mean? Well, RG, you really Such let yourself go with it. Not the war. <laughs> we use force, yes, but. Oh, oh no! Yeah, we were gonna have to bring that up Again. at some point. You really believe you can? Make oh no, I can hear it now. Make it dent. Ow. With the two of yeah, us we'll, working together, uh, clarify I believe after the, that we uh, can defeat them. So that's what this is about. <laughs> you need me to fight the demons, help you save the world. Save what else were you planning day. on doing with your life? You guys do seem really Call nice. I'm here yeah. now. I'm more of a loner type. Trust issues, work alone, that kind of thing. Dante, I don't think you understand what is at stake. If you want to leave, our Sierra's villain is really dumb. To stop you. Uh, I she was still better than half the shit Neil Saban came up with. Not just for yourself, but I'm trying to avoid that, that argument at this point. Makes you think you give a shit. I mean, the sad part is it's still true regardless. <laughs> I know it's. I, I know, but I'm trying. I'm trying to avoid the whole comparison. I know. Who you really so we are. are? Dino and a Power Ranger. I mean, wasn't he voiced by a Power Ranger in another? Yeah, like I said, cut after the cutscene. <laughs> it's paradise, except it isn't. So you get it. Out ass house for paradise. You get it. <laughs> I mean, how much more on the nose can you get with that? your home I don't remember it you will cat open the gateway my Wi-Fi shit is a bit what do you know? okay okay our world and limbo are very closely superposition they collide in places causing what we call rifts it's here in the rifts we can create gateways to and from Limbo. Doesn't smell too good. What's in the can? A compound I created based on an old Wiccan recipe. Sea salt, shark oil, iron shavings, desiccated squirrel semen, wolf hair. Good stuff. Yep, that's Go a ahead. fun uh, recipe. The house holds <laughs> secrets. I found mine. Now it's your turn. Hell, I get back. We'll take care of that. Just be careful. You can get rough in there. I like it rough. Yeah. Kinky. Is this really good? Wow, check. Wow, wow. I saw the name of this place before. Care. This must be a good place Draw. to gamble. It's a good pair of dice. Just like you were when I first found you. <laughs> <laughs> you got the cringe going on over there. I'm fine. And now here we are in the limbo version of this house. Anyway, so, to uh, address what we were talking about in the cutscene, Virgil in this game is voiced by the same actor who played RJ in Power Rangers Jungle Fury. I can't remember the actor's either. name off the top of my head, but that's who it is. At least he doesn't sound high in this. Uh, RJ looks fun in Jungle Fury. I don't care. The actor's name is... So this is my own. Well, I want to say it's like David something, but I secrets. can't remember exactly. I just find his performance in that really funny. <laughs> David De La Torre. There we go. So I was right. It's uh, David with David something. <laughs> Was uh, but in the mainline series, he, uh, isn't Virgil voiced by another ranger? Yes, in thinking? the main uh, Devil May Cry games, Virgil is voiced by none other than Dan Southworth, aka the Quantum Ranger. Eric. Yep, Eric Myers became a Power Ranger at some point. AKA the best, aka the best uh, Six Ranger. It's also funny considering the fact that if you play uh, Battle for the Grid, or yeah, I think that's the yeah. Game. Fighting game. Yeah, yeah. There are yeah, actually the some lines yeah. that uh, they let Eric uh, say that are references to Virgil. Also, his moveset is apparently the same. It's very it similar, yeah. I actually haven't messed around with that game enough to really know for sure, but 
I can mm. see some of it. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, but if we actually do really think about the mainline DMC games, we have Ruben Langdon as Dante, who was in a Japanese Tokusatsu as in D-Fighter as one of the Beetleboard guys. We have Nero, who's voiced by Johnny M. Bosch. Yeah, Black no Ranger, who's a there. frog. And we have Dan Southworth, who is essentially a god in stunt work. <laughs> I mean, no. I have seen the behind the scenes from the DMC3 and the choreography they did for the motion cap is amazing. Sparta. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of really good uh, behind the scenes My stuff. Dad. I'm a frog. <laughs> also, I find it interesting that, once again, they have uh, obscured Sparta's face. So that you don't actually know what he looks like. I don't think they actually ever trust that in the uh, mainline series either. As much as people would love to actually know what the guy looks like. But the thing, like, in DMC 1, they kind of show off uh, a shadowy silhouette of what he looks like, but it's in his devil form. You never actually see a human form, as far as I am aware. And here we have a new enemy type, and these guys are kind of obnoxious You're up next. starting out. Because of that shield. Because they will, of course, naturally walk with it. And I'm doing a very bad job of dodging around it. Because that's basically your fastest way of getting around that shield. Is dodge out whatever attacks or just like move around behind them. What are you trying to show me? There's a glowy thing. Let's touch the glowy thing. Poke it. Poke the glow. I'm sure that's not ripped out for any reason. Ugh. Ooh, we got a new fancy. Is that a scythe? No, it's an axe. <laughs> mm. Arbiter. The demonic axe he swings are slow but powerful. It's especially effective against shields. How very fitting. You have a shield. That's uh, a tough now. Dodging with a help. Anyway. So this is one of the, uh, or this game's main gimmick, is being able to channel the power of demons inside of your weaponry. And in this case, we have an axe, which is pretty cool. Now, in the last episode, I mentioned the whole thing about the lock-on being kind of weird in this version, and annoying to use for certain mechanics. This was what I was talking about. Look at the way that you actually have to access the axe, which is you hold down the right trigger on your controller, and the problem with this is that you actually have to hold it down to do this, and the lock-on function is attached to the right bumper, so unless you're doing something like holding down the trigger with your middle finger and then hitting the bumper with, or holding the bumper down with your index finger. It's kind of uncomfortable for me. I don't particularly care much for it. Also, that's a cock tease and a half. I can't actually reach that. Oh, never mind. I can. I thought I could... I thought that actually went too far out of range. But, yeah. I think there is actually a setting in the controls if you want to use it where um, the lock-on is just a toggle instead of a hold so like you just tap it once to lock on to someone but it's just weird when it comes to the demon weapons i tend to forget the, the uh, lock on demon there i just let dante uh kind of auto lock on the things it actually doesn't feel too bad given that uh since the game was originally designed without it it still works fairly well like, I think he's, the way he's programmed is, he does compensate a little bit for the fact that you don't have a lock-on setting. Which is something that I cannot say for one of Platinum's later titles, which 
may or may not show up on this uh, channel at some point. I don't know. I guess we'll decide on that one. Keep watching to find out. <laughs> well, the game in question is Transformers Devastation, and when I was playing it on stream uh, a few weeks ago, or like a, however long ago that was actually, I realized, oh, this game doesn't have a lock-on function. I cannot play this game without that one. This is kind of annoying. Dante. Which... Did I hear that right? Yeah, Dante is seeing shadows of children from his past. But, uh... Yeah, it's kind of, like, funny that, like, I'm giving this game a general pass for being able to handle not having a lock-on. But I think, as I said, I think the game kind of compensates for that with the way that Dante handles, as opposed to trying to do some of the stuff in Transformers where it feels like you need to have a lock-on, otherwise your characters are just going to go flying all over the place and they're annoying as hell. Yeah, one other thing about those Lost Souls is that they make a very eerie uh, sound to them that lets you know that they're around. And, gee, I wonder what this thing is. Also, I like how that just is die on the wall. Yeah. But yeah, now that we have access to some of our demon power, mostly you want to use it for shielded enemies, and then there's also another enemy type that it will become more useful for uh, dealing with later on. Although I do know that this little mechanic also is part of the reason why this game got so much higher than the first came out. That was me. I remember this. Oh, that's cute. Dante, I don't think you understand what's at stake. I love Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. Yeah, so this, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the this, per se. Because I feel like this is meant to be symbolic of something. But the way that it's portrayed, it's kind of hard to figure. It's, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I'm guessing it's meant to be the f fact that Dante's mind is fractured at the moment and he's trying to piece together his past. Possibly there's another Where am I? thought that I have for this. Which Am I dreaming? will uh, make more sense once we actually get to the end of it. Also, we're going to get one of the coolest mechanics this game has. Which is this. Yes. Oh yeah! Yeah, using that, basically you hit the gun button while you have your, uh, demon weapon active. It turns your blade into a grappling hook, and this one lets you, uh, gank things around, down towards you, which is really fun. I'm guessing that also works for enemies. Yes, you can use them to, uh, use this to yank enemies towards you, and actually this is part of why I say that, uh, having the lock-on is kind of, uh, compensated come. for, just because when you're using this, you can pretty much just yank everyone around near you, and, uh, you don't really need to go too far, but yeah, you can use them to yank enemies towards you, which is nice. And it's also really useful for when you're using moves like Stinger, because Stinger tends to throw people around. So having this to you can yank them back to you is really nice. Also, I do like how that you can still get environmental kills here. That's hilarious to me. Also, one other fun little thing is that weird um, slow-mo that the game does after you clear a zone of enemies. They actually imported that into the MC5. Anyway, so we bust this.
So what else have you got? Let's try those drugs that are weird. So what I'm, so what I'm guessing awesome. those little inner, like, whenever it does that, and trust me, we will be doing that in, uh, more than once. Oh, so here's the door for this mission. Actually, let's see, what is this mission? Just for the giggles. Which one is this one? Oh, I see you doing that. Most everything here is that. Anyone want to go to the... <laughs> it looks lovely. The seaside, the seaside. Not really the flame in the air. Well, it's meant to be a challenge, more or less. But yeah, there we go. That is the thing with secret missions. Like they're meant to be like a specific style of like challenge room. Essentially, it's not meant to be like something super easy. Well, some of them are easy. Some of them aren't. As I will forever be hinting at, there is one that is very nasty. And I also know exactly where the door for that one is, and I am not looking forward to that. Are we just, are we just gonna hear you groan and moan when you're in that level? I don't know what's going on. Uh, like I said, when we get to that, and like I said, I know where the door is, I'm not going to be trying to, to do that one in the middle of that level. Plus that one, I'm going to have more uh, gear for it. Get ready for a crunch explanation. What the hell happened here? Oh no! Who's that? Who are they? I wonder who that could possibly be. Well, to put it simply about that one mission that I keep uh, referring to, it combines three of the most annoying enemies in the game together in a combination that is utterly disgusting. Also, yeah, now that we have the demon pull thing, you can use it to yank the shields off of these guys. Because, you know, having little flying fuckers throwing grenades around wasn't bad enough. We had to put shields on them. It's going to be slightly more than up on standing in air there. <laughs> oh, no. How did they find us? I know that voice. Oh, yeah, one thing I haven't actually commented on yet is this game is how solid the platforming for it feels. <laughs> well, so now that we have Arbiter, we have a new uh, category of uh, things to collect. We also have some more things here in the uh, regular abilities upgrade. I'm grabbing this, Demon Evade. Because what that does is that if you do an evasion while you have one of your demon weapons activated, it boosts your attack power for a few seconds if you uh, time it absolutely that... perfectly. Mom? And in the original version of this game, this, that maneuver was actually really busted as hell. Like, you were could utterly wreck things if you uh, had that active. I love you, Dante. Hey, look, it's a thing. It's that thing that shows up in the loading screens. Fucking demons. I was having a moment! Jerk. But yeah, for this version of uh, the game, they did tone down how much damage the demon based thing does, but it's still really useful. Hopefully I can uh, show it off. Okay. Nope, here it is. Ow. That's a sneak. Okay, so oh, my God. 
<sighs> Look, shiny thing. It's a blue thing this time. Look, the blue thing. I would make, I would make a certain song reference. But I That's a scythe. Now this is a scythe. New it's weapon unlocked a Cyrus, and it's a Stelic Scythe particularly useful for dealing with large crowds of enemies. So, this is the other, yeah, so this is the other half of the uh, equation. Because Dante is a Nephilim, which they haven't actually discussed yet, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway, because it's an older game. Um, he is half demon and half angel. So, he has access to both sides of the equation. His mother was with Angel, his dad was human, and that is also where our other weapons come in. So, use the power of the demons for, for Arbiter, and use the power of Angel for Osiris. Anyway, that move that I'm doing where he's spinning the blade, this is his uh, launcher for Osiris. It's called Prop, and then if you, uh... Get one of the upgrades, you can actually chain it into a uh, different move, which you can then call Prop Shredder. And these are also uh, useful for cutting through this kind of ore. Which, as you can see right now, basically just have one of these guys. Damn. Yeah, you know, I gotta get all the red orbs that you can. Actually, this game is really stingy with red orbs, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. Also, here's a trick that uh, you can do in the other games as well. Uh, the store sells health increase items. These are uh, health crosses. And these are what you uh, gain pieces of when you're doing the secret missions. But, as you can see, obviously we've been taking some hits. But if you buy one in the middle of a mission, instant health refill. Hmm. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, and as I said, you can do that in the main game, too. That's not just exclusive to this one. But, um, the thing with the uh, items in the shop is that they only sell a limited number of them, and the rest of them you have to either get from secret missions. Actually, in this one, it's mainly you get them from secret missions. In the other games, you can find uh, fragments lying around, but that's not this one. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that they didn't do that for this one, either, because I was just... Cool. Some of those were in nasty little places, to say the least. And that gap, I know I cannot jump. That one's too wide. So that guy's just going to be tormenting us. Have uh, fun. <laughs> a blue rose. It's like Beauty and the Beast. I hate. I also appreciate the fact that they call that blue rose because. Um, Nero's gun in DMC4 and 5 is called the Blue Rose. Yeah. Oh. So that's a nice little, uh, mod. Which I appreciate greatly. A little bit back here again. Oh my god, I'm tripping balls again. <laughs> well, so, so is this this game Gravity Rush everybody's been going on about? Huh? There's a game that looks exactly right, like this for PlayStation 4 and the Triple Gravity Rush. Oh yeah, I've heard of that game. I think uh, one of the YouTubers I follow, Super Butterbuns, did a playthrough of Gravity Rush on her Twitch. So I've seen little bits and pieces of it. Oh yeah, buns. Good boy. Yeah. Two equals. Go to bed! <laughs> anyway, much like this. So just like with our demon weapon, we have also gain ourselves an angel uh, grapple. And this does the opposite. While uh, the demon pole will bring enemies to us, this brings us to them. And now that we have the full, uh, oh shit. We have the full Monty. <laughs> As I throw myself into the abyss, um, now that we have both of them, I'm gonna this is the perfect time to comment on the fact that I really love the way this game handles as far as platforming is concerned, because 
Up until yeah. DMC5, nice. the main nice. games, whenever they tried to do platforming, they were really not built for it. They were honestly really stiff. And there's like some sections, especially in like DMC3, that uh, it's a nightmare to try and platform. And I absolutely hate it. But yeah, so now we can either yank ourselves up to enemies or yank them to us, depending on which way we want to do it. And it's just really fun. Also, I should point out that this gimmick is the yank and pull gimmick is actually not specific to this game. Um, it's more or less a uh, derivative of one of Nero's functions in DMC4 because. One of his uh, things that makes him unique in gameplay style is the demon arm he has. And in that game, you can also do a similar thing with it, where you can uh, gank enemies to you or pull yourself to them. But for that game, it was more... Uh, uh, the word is escaping me, but it's... It wouldn't... Um, it wasn't, like, specific, per se. It was more... Ugh, god, my words. They hurt. It's that thing where, like, it only activates, it does, it behaves a certain way under certain conditions. Like, for bigger enemies, it would automat, it would pull you to them instead of pulling them to you. So, like, if it was a smaller enemy, you could grab them with the hand and you would, uh, pull them to you, whereas if it was a bigger hand, your enemy, you would pull you to them. Whereas with this, you have more control over it. So it's like, if you want to go to them, you use the angel weapon or pole. If you want to bring it to you, you use the demon one. So, yeah. So I feel really dumb to not being able to figure out what the heck I was trying to think of the word I was trying to think of. It's like, on the tip of my tongue, but I'm not going to sit there and, like, fumble over that for five hours. That's a big brain fun. I think the word I was thinking was contextual. Or something like that. I don't know. Also, yeah, once again, his face has been uh, cracked out. I remember. I remember my mother. Her name was Eva. She gave this to me. I had a brother too. Brother. Also, I like how apparently they would uh, sword fight just in their boxers. I had no idea of the shorts. danger we were in. <laughs> that's that's normal. <laughs> that's normal. <laughs> Big scary demon face. And they broke in. The kingpin came to say hi. <laughs> uh. She gave her life uh. so that we could escape. I just wanted a little never heart forget to what he did to her. <laughs> Just my father, Sparta, took my brother and I away. He separated us. Hid us safely amongst the humans. Wiped our memories to protect us. That's why it all went black. Until now. Yep, so that is the story of how Dante and Virgil ended up at the way that they are. So Whee! Whee! I'm getting out of here. I really do love the uh, platform in this game. I'll probably be saying that a lot because I really do love the 
people. There's like some sequences later on where like you have to like quick swap between the grapples and stuff and it is like so much fun to do. What's up? I'm back. You're my brother. Your twin Where brother. Are my sunglasses? And I've been looking for you for a long time now. Oh, ZZ. Our mother gave these to us. I think she knew that this moment would come, that we would find each other. This is kind of a cute little adapt from uh, and our father, DMC3. Vanished forever. A fate worse than death, they say. He's never coming back. That looked weird. I want to know more. Where we come from, what happened to us. And above all, I want to know who's responsible for all this. That design on the back of Virgil's coat's interesting. That, yeah, that's mission two. Dante now remembers who he is and who Virgil is and all that fun jazz. So, yay. Yay! Also, yeah, there's a lot of lost souls in this level. Insert the Kermit gif. <sighs> we need that one Kermit gif. <laughs> that is a good gif. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and next time we will continue on with uh, adventures and demon slaying and all that fun jazz. Au revoir. See ya.